Okay, so this video I'll be showing you how to root your Android phone, which is Model of Fire XT. Basically, the first all the application that we'll be needing are these. You can find them in the link I'll provide you. Can't focus. So the first step. Is I'll be needing to install is that? since I have a Windows 7 64 bit, I'll be needing to install the 64 bit version, which is this one x64 or fs 64 bit version. Just install repair. I have installed it, so yeah, I'll just go for it. Repair, yes, and just be sure that you have your phone's debugging mode on settings applications development see the above two options are tick checked this is the usb debug one yes okay can't focus yes it's saying usb debugging stay awake yeah you should also keep it stay awake Check as if your phone enters sleep mode could have some risk of breaking your phone. So I'm just going back and just be sure not to mount your SD card. As it's USB connected, I have my USB card mass storage off, so it's still not turned on. As we're not going to need that, so yeah, yes installing tools or whatever I have installed it so I need the stuff I'll just go S U P Yep there's mine uh, now it's gonna detect my phone next yeah phone is connected so I'm just gonna search for my image file which is Somewhere. Oh man. B two K games root. The uh, F X X P R three N V version. I'll just open that. Click the next words button. So I'm gonna check disk space and all that. Yeah, if you're getting uh. BIAG mode editor just be sure your computer starts updating my phone uh, my computer has already updated drivers so it's not gonna ask for anything that or any other stuff I'm not gonna get any errors as my phone's updated updated it's just gonna connect but my phone's already patched ROM already is patched so I don't need, need me yeah it's gonna say error because it's already patched so I just press finish go back back now super one two yeah so now i just co copy computer local disk c paste the root d3 folder over here not nowhere else but just folder over there and then windows plus r command okay now I'll enter C root sorry D three sorry yeah I also have to enter the C D command C D which actually just opens the folder where command prompt will access <coughs> all your applications now just for <coughs> ADB server, yeah, ADB server, ADB shell, sorry, yeah, shell. So that's the command line. CD, this is CD, local disk C, root D3, ADB shell. Enter. Yeah, just be careful. If you're not getting any of these, you should retry the step again. Yeah, I just got this hash signed. Yes, hash sign 
this one so I can proceed later further on so I'll just open the root d3 folder and run root d3 if you can see that can't focus yeah root d3 zncn zhcn folder I'm gonna open it since I have my phone connected and rooted it's not gonna detect my phone but if your phone see my phone just rebooted I don't know get connected somehow I don't know but since my phone's rooted it's just gonna direct my phone my phone is just normally gonna restart yeah it's just gonna restart I have some boot animation installed so it's not gonna show Motorola afterwards it's gonna show, show some other file Yeah, I have the droid boot animation, so it's gonna show that one. <clears throat> On the computer, the USB just got connected. I'll just exit this. And this. Yeah, it's uh, the necessary part will be that your phone needs to reboot at least three times, not before that. If the phone doesn't reboot three times, the process hasn't completed yet. So if it gets stuck on the first reboot, like if, if it has completed its first reboot, it has rebooted at least once and it's not rebooting the second time, just disconnect the USB and connect it back again. And it should reboot back. But since mine is rooted, so it may or may not reboot. No, it's not going to reboot. Ah, I just found something. Saying something I can't understand this language, saying something USB and all that stuff. Yeah, it's mine is rooted, saying shell root and all that stuff. And my phone just re rebooted again. Like this, the similar way if it reboots three times, the ROM patching thing is complete. So now you can just close this, go back. If you want to delete this file, you can delete it. I have completed this process, so I'm going to delete this file. Uh, task manager, processes, adb, adb, exe, and process, and process. Cancel now. Data. 2k games now i start super click one start this application but yeah if you want the latest super uh, user update since you can't update since you can't update the super user once it's installed you have to go back download the latest super click oh, sorry super one click user something which is maybe 2.3 or 3.0 whichever supports Motorola, yeah, it's maybe 2.3. So in the uh, on the XDA website, you found this file. So I'm just gonna use this super one click and press the root button. It's gonna start saying stuff. See, now nah, it says device is booted, but I use the latest version, which is let me find where is that one. S U P E R so S Okay so I don't have that I have deleted the one but just in case you want the latest super update version wait uh, so my device is rooted I can just go back and back and just close all the programs device is rooted I'll just disconnect it just to check if it's rooted or not ah, sorry flight mode just to check I have a skull icon I have the skull icon super user I'll just open it since I have rooted my phone so it's gonna show these applications which i use settings yeah the latest one super user is 2.3.6 so yeah the super user 
uh, super one click you should download should be 2.3.6 or if there's one another one latest one out so you can download that super user yeah so yeah that's for today Uh, uh, so that's how you do your Motorola Fire XT530. Just be sure not to experiment with like ROM manager and all that stuff. It experiments with your ROM, as that's definitely gonna break your phone. And just in case, oh, it's restarting. It's slow. And just in case you install the old super user version, you can go to root tools. Where is it? Root tools. Yeah, root tools. Just press that. It's gonna start, start, start. Go to application management, app management. System apps. And you're gonna find super user somewhere installed here. Mm. Yeah, so here's super user. I just click that, press the delete button. I don't want to delete because it might not update it. Press yes. Then you can go to the Android market and download the latest super user version. Yeah, so that's it the complete guide to routing your Motorola Fire XT.